Resurrect Eject Operation Channel Intro Hello fellow YouTubers, LarryWC Stop Motioner here. Welcome to Viewers New and Old. And today, I'm going to rank Transformers Studio Series 86 Wave 2. Now this is a lot smaller. In fact, it's pretty much the first wave cut in half. First wave had six figures. Second wave only has two. Not two, three. My bad. And it's pretty much going to be the same for wave three by the looks so it's just going to have three figures and I only want one of them. The other two are just trash. I only want the Perceptor. But just because this wave is small doesn't mean it's bad because I like all these figures. I think they're all really good. In terms of if I think this is a step up from wave one, uh, it's hard to say. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into number three. Okay, so number three is Gnaw, and keep in mind the only reason he's in number three is just because someone had to go in number three. Because I really like this figure. This shark mode, I think is really good. Yeah, there is the issue where the legs and arms are kind of awkwardly placed. I do wish that there was more room in the mouth so you could, like, fit Wheelie or Daniel in his mouth or something. That's kind of a disappointment. He does have weapon storage. It's not super ideal, but it, it's there if you want it. I think the sculpted details are nice. I like the colors. You got an articulated tail. Articulation on this guy, just in general, is pretty good. So, that's basically the shark mode. I love this transformation. It's simple, but it's a lot of fun. My only complaint is that I have to partially mistransform the back, because otherwise it makes the robot mode look a little weird. And I really do like this robot mode for the most part. I think I like the shark mode a little bit more. But robot mode is still really cool. The coloring is still, it's simple, but it's nice. Head sculpt is good, aside from the eyes. The eyes are really weird how they're like kind of far in. It's really bizarre. In fact, with out light, they're a little hard to see. It's a little hard to see the color in there. Hold his gun and his tail and use those both as weapons. The articulation is really nice. Aside from not having a waist swivel, I really like it. So again, this is not a bad figure. I love this figure. I think it's great. It's just one of those cases of the other two are better. Number two is Slag. You know, when this wave was first revealed, I thought Slag was going to be my favorite. It's not really on Slag's part, it's just what num it's number one being so good, but y'all know what it is, but still. So Triceratops mode, I think is amazing. The color on it is good. The sculpted details are amazing. Yeah, the gun's a little out of place with, in the, terms of color with the tail, but it doesn't really bother me that much. I don't like how this part doesn't really hold up. It's just kind of hanging out there. You can't click it into place. You do have an opening jaw. You got nice painted blue eyes. The articulation is pretty good for, you know, Triceratops. It's really everything you'd want. 
So Triceratops mode is great. I like this transformation. It's trying to be a little bit more complex than Grimlock. I still argue that Grimlock's simplicity was one of his strengths, but still, trying to make it more complex is appreciated. I don't really like lining the tail up. That's really fiddly, but otherwise, it's a pretty fun transformation. And I do really like this robot mode. The head sculpt is really nice, even if there should be some white here. I love the glossy paint they gave it. That's just amazing. And again, sculpted details are phenomenal. I think his gun is nice. Really biggest complaint is just this back section doesn't like to stay in place. His head articulation is a little bit limited, but that's just due to the nature of the design. So otherwise, he's got very nice ratchet joints. And even if I do like Grimlock better as a figure overall, I do prefer the ratchet joints on this guy because the ones on Grimlock are kind of soft ratchet joints. The ones on this have such a satisfying click to them. So again, it's not really anything he did wrong. That landed, did, didn't land him in first place. It's just what number one did right. So, we all saw it coming. Number one is Rekgar. I mean, this figure is just amazing. Got this motorcycle mode. Maybe it's not perfectly accurate, but we don't really know. We didn't really get a super good shot of the motorcycle mode in the 86 movie Orange one Season 3. It is designed where you can fit a deluxe on here. You got kickstands. Can't roll super well, but what do you expect? It's a motorcycle. You can sort of get a roll out of it, but just due to how the tires are designed, it's not going to work super well. You can store his weapon here on the back. On the look at the gas tank there. I do wish these spikes were a softer plastic because they're pretty hard, which means they could break. So that's a little disappointing, but... Otherwise, motorcycle mode is pretty much just as good as it can be. The transformation is probably my biggest complaint with this guy. It's not atrocious, and there isn't really anything that makes me feel nervous about breaking it or anything. It's just not satisfying. Nothing really clicks into place. It's just nothing that makes me want to go through it other than to get to the other mode. But regardless of my issues with the transformation, I don't care because robot mode is just the description of amazing. I love how this looks. In terms of a uh, movie Rekgar, G1 Rekgar, they can't really do any better than this. They don't need to make a masterpiece. That's how good it is. Okay, despite the hollowness on the back of the arms. That doesn't bother me that much, but I'm sure it does bother some people. Head sculpt is really good. I do wish the goatee was maybe a softer plastic, so you'd have an easier time making him look down, but that's a nitpick. Just any complaints I have about this guy are nitpicks. And even then, I'm hard pressed to find something to nitpick. Because his articulation, if nothing else, this articulation is just amazing. You can pull off so many good poses with it. Part of that is due to the fact that whether or not this was intentional, he has an ab crunch. You just, you don't see that a whole lot. And again, this is the spinning image of what was seen in the 86 movie. Now, apparently he is supposed to come with a gun. I guess he used one in the 86 movie. I don't remember that, but I guess he did. But I don't really care. He's still got his spinning weapon right here. He's got his wheels. 
The sculpted details are nice. There's not really any detail that I feel this guy is missing. He stands pretty well. So just all around, amazing figure. And overall, out of the 86 figures in general, he is my second favorite. Grimlock is still the best, but this guy is a close second. So Rekgard is definitely number one of 86 Wave 2. So overall, even though this wave of 86 figures was small, that's not a bad thing because all these figures are excellent and highly recommended. If you have not picked these figures up, you definitely need to. Nom might set you back a little bit because he is one that people are army building. Slag and Rekgar, I think, are also kind of going up. Just Transformers in general are going up these days. Deluxes are now like 25, and man, that just really bothers me. But as it is, I overall really enjoyed this wave. I'm bummed that Perceptor is the only one I want from Wave 3. But Wave 4 is giving us Sludge, who I can't wait for. And Junkyard, who's going to be a retool of Rekgar. So, I love this mold, so I'm sure I'll love that. And we're also getting Spike, who I may or may not get. I probably will if he's in stores. But as of right now, 86 is just killing it. I am loving this line so much. So, that's basically my ranking for 86 Wave 2. Let me know how you'd rank it. Maybe you got the reverse or, you know, whatever, whatever your opinion is. Let me know in the comments. So, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.